Well, we're back here after that performance from United of the Union. They must have been very tired. They won the first section today and they put on another fine show again in the championship section. They finished off with the finale from Taris Fortissima. Um, so before the next band, we'll tell you a little about the next performance, which will be coming from Thorsby Colliery under their MD Lee Skipsy. They're going to be starting with uh, the Peter Graham arrangement of Deep Harmony uh, to start, followed by Prismatic Light by Alan Fernie. Uh, Val Flicken's Dance is the uh, solo feature with Ian McCormack on Euphonium. Then it's All Right With Me, which is a trombone feature from Can Can with Cole Porter number. And they're finishing off with Enter the Galaxies by Paul Lovett Cooper. So until we get there, we've got uh, with some extra guests as well. We've got Dave Collins and we've got Alex again from Unibras. Gentlemen, congratulations on, on the work. First of all, Dave as well. Yeah. Talking point of the day has been this program that you put forward, which... Theogony, right. destruction yeah. and creation. Well, tell us a little bit about it, uh, about the piece as well. You put together, there were premieres within it, etc. Yeah. So, all came together well. Yeah, I think so. It was um, it was an idea that I've had for a, a while now. Uh, this idea of creation and destruction from from the beginning to the end. You know that journey across twenty minutes um, in an entertainment type program. Um, and it really come together this last year with the help of some fantastic composers, fantastic uh, collaborators generally through um, Paul McGee, you know, a brand new commission. He, uh, he wrote us a work called The Golden Age, which is a five minute chorale. Uh, and essentially the idea in that is you've got this beautiful chorale ticking along underneath the piece with this quartet that you see at the front. But underneath you've got these undercurrents of darkness, this um, you know, negative uh, storyline of, of the, the Titan Kronos eating his children. So Good family entertainment. Do not repeat this at home. Yeah. That's what we've got to say. Do not repeat this at home. And certainly not the part where something got thrown into the sea. Yeah, indeed, which we, no. can't, we can't say on, <laughs> on television, not before the 90 o'clock watershed for that part of it there. It, but it was an exciting project to put it together, especially to bring it together into a 20 minute program. We were talking, Chris, this is the type of music that, that he, he really loves, you see. You know? yeah. Dark, destructive music. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Very brave choice to do that for an for a entertainment concert. Yeah, there. absolutely. One of the things that interested me, actually, you mentioned the word collaboration. To what degree did you collaborate with the other composers, with Paul, and et cetera? Well, essentially, we set up um, the the idea, the story, the outline, and um, I says, you know, Theogony is quite, um, quite a long story by... Um, you know, by anyone's imagination, it's very, very long and complicated. So it's about bringing that down and whittling it into 20 minutes. And essentially, I gave the composers, Paul McGee, Daniel Hall, and another commission, essentially the section that they were to write for, and they were free to do what they want in the first instance, write whatever they liked, whatever came to so them. So there was always going to be that possible clash of styles between the different composers, which was something you, you wanted to achieve. Certainly so, yeah. We yeah. asked those composers, we wanted those composers because of their unique styles, uh, because of their voices, and so we wanted to write something that was typically typically them. Um, we also worked with a, a company called Very Vermilion, who designed all the images. Yeah, 20 odd images. I'm not there were 20 that. images, yeah. And again, it was, here's a story, you know, let's work together to work something out. I didn't design them. They were designed by Laura, Laura Jones at Very Vermilion. Well, I think it's fair to say we always like something a bit different. We always like to admire somebody that comes along and tries yeah. something yeah. a bit off the wall. From the point of view of the competition itself, or the, I mean, it, it's clearly taking a risk when you do things <laughs> like that. Yeah. Did, did that concern you at all? Or did you just get in there with both feet and do the artistic thing? It is a concern, uh, and it's a concern for the band. You know, nobody wants to rehearse music uh, feeling that uh, feeling that they might not win. But then you've got to flip it around and, and create art and create music and create something that has a, in my opinion, structure across 20 minutes that doesn't fall into your boxes of, you know, solo fanfare feature, you know, that's a little bit broader, but uh, hopefully tells a, a story across that 20 minutes. What was the reaction from the band when you just walked in with the parts that first night? And said, this is what we're doing. <laughs> um, it we play would, pageant instead? Yeah. <laughs> Fair to say it was mixed. You know, we've got a fantastic age range of players. There's uh, people in the children's band of Britain, uh, in the band, through to, through to people who've been playing longer than, you know, three times longer than I've been alive. Mm -hmm. So we've got a good range of players there. So um, it was a challenge to start, but breaking it down, working as a good team, you know, they, they came together as a, as a unit, so uh, to get behind the project. 
talking about projects, is what the latest one you're actually doing for yourself. You've been involved with Unibras. This is why we got Alex back with us. Working hard today, Alex. I've got to say that. <laughs> for, they've really got their money's worth out here today, racing around doing everything. Tell us a little bit about the composition. Can you uh, sponsor the composition prize at the Unibras Championships? Yep. And that's turned into a composition which is going to be used hopefully to promote the 2016 Championships. Yep. What's that about, Alex? So uh, between the 14th of October and the 1st of November, we're visiting all of the university bands and we're doing a 20-minute live recording performance um, from each of them. So every day, a, a new performance. And uh, we came up with the idea of uh, a journey. So we, the idea was um, one of these books where you have a decision. So you, you might say turn to page 92 to, to go left and 93 to go right. Um, so we took that idea as a, we could have a work where you never perform it all. Um, it's, it's got sections and you can build the work your own your own journey and that's that's where the name of the piece journey came from yeah. um, so uh, Dave and Alex who um, um, uh, won last year's composition prize um, uh, sorry Jacob, Jacob. Yeah. Uh, I'm Alex yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day yeah, it's been a very long, long day, day. Um, uh, um, worked together and came up with this composition so it should be every band perform a different version of the same piece. I take your choices and what yep, they certainly. do is a clever idea again. Yep. But going back then, that's, that's interesting, going back and, and saying what you said about the uh, the agony you call it. Yeah. <laughs> we have to get somebody from the local Greek restaurant yes, to tell us what's all about it. <laughs> but that part of it is, uh, will this now have some sort of, there's a lot made of legacy, isn't there? Will, will this have a musical legacy? Where will it be played again? Well, the idea, um, you know, as a concept, I think um, can be taken taken elsewhere if people uh, uh, wanted to. Uh, hopefully, the legacy of it is that Poulton the Fire Band, not a huge name in banding, you know, by any means, but hopefully gave a risk and hopefully encourages people to think about more innovative music for band uh, rather than just going to the sort of traditional music. Let's do something a little bit different. That's what I'd, uh, I'd like to inspire in people. Well, congratulations on that. Congratulations, City, making a big impression here as well this afternoon. We're just about ready to go back into the hall, but I've got a quick mention for the Margaret Altsop Memorial Fund. Uh, people who have bought a programme, they will see this. The wonderful lady who helped support this event over many, many years. Two daughters are here. Frankie, who's doing the runner for us here today, is doing really a brilliant job. Well. Karen, her sister, who's been selling tickets and the sold out with all, all the programme. In memory of her mother, and the, the prize is going to be given to the most entertaining band as well. So please support that if you can. And with that, we'll be going back, hopefully, straight into the hall to see Thorsby Colliery Band and their MD, Lee Skipsey.